job responsibilities? I teach out of middle school and a choir. I have three choirs at each middle school. Um, my middle school ones are by grade level, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. My high school choirs are, I have a general choir, I have a show choir, and I have an a cappella choir. Um, I'm in charge of the audition groups for the high school, selecting which students make it into each group, um, uniforms, um, music selection, of course, performances, um, any, of, any type of in-school, out-of-school performances, um, and building up their um, choral repertoire. What is your typical day like? School starts here at the high school at 7.40. Um, I'm usually here about 7.30. Um, and I teach until 11 o'clock. I teach my three quarters here. Um, then I go to my middle school and I start there at 12.30. And I teach my eighth grade, and my seventh grade, and my sixth grade. Um, currently, I'm our drama director now. So um, after school, I'm running rehearsals three, four hours after school as well. to your chosen occupation. I've been involved in music for a long, long time. Um, joined choir in third grade, joined band in fifth grade, um, played lots of instruments, continued on when I graduated high school, volunteering uh, in high schools. Um, and so it was just my own personal experiences growing up that led me to it. What did you major in? Well, I have a, it's a K-12 certification in music, so I'm certified to teach general music in elementary, um, band, orchestra, and choir. Um, where I went at Eastern, it's considered a triple major because you are that triple certification. What are the positive aspects of your career? There's a, there's a lot of positives. Um, you know, I, one of my favorite things is when I see the students working really, really hard towards something and when they achieve it and their reaction when they achieve it. Um, that That's when I know my job is worthwhile, is when I see them working hard towards something. Um, you know, there's a sheer satisfaction of, you know, the beautiful music that they create. Um, you know, they, they work really hard for their shows and when, when they do that performance, that you know, that that tingling feeling you get. That, that, that is the ultimate positive for me. What are the negative aspects of your career? I wouldn't necessarily call them negatives. It's more just comes along with the job. Um, you know, the hours are really long, especially since I'm being the drama director now. You know, I'm working 72 hours a week about. Um, but because it's something I love and something I'm passionate about, it's really not... It, it doesn't seem like that for a drawback. The paperwork. There's a lot of paperwork too. What would you look for in a job interview? Uh, first of all, someone who's dedicated. I think you need to be dedicated um, in order to run a program like this, a program of this size and caliber. Um, you know, someone who's willing to work, put in the extra hours, because there's a lot of extra hours when it comes to music programs. Um, and, you know, someone who can relate to kids, relate to parents, work with um, a wide variety of groups, and be able to work with a wide variety of needs, because especially in music, especially in choir, um, we tend to get a lot of different learning abilities from the, uh, you know, most of us, a lot of my students take all AP classes to a lot of special needs students as well, so there's a wide range that you need to be able to work with. What advice would you give to students? Keep at it. Private lessons galore. You know, hone your craft right now. Um, you know, get in there, volunteer, work with kids, go to local schools, um, and really, really see what it's about and find what you like and what you don't like. Um, it, it, it'll just really help out in the future.